your name so that's why I, uh... yeah because it does have a really good meaning as well and what's that it's name of a tree in heaven it's uh, like you know my name was mentioned in our holy book quran uh, for four times as sidratul muntaha oh wow yeah it's the name of a tree in heaven which is like kind of a berry okay and uh, yeah okay that's, that's deep that's your name got purpose to it Mhm, it does. Okay. Um. So, so that, that, does that mean you have a religious background? Hmm. Does that mean you have a, a a spiritual background? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Connected to God. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, I never got a chance to ask you. Um, what are some of the things you had to endure in Pakistan when you lived there? So. Like literally, I spent 15 years of my life over there in Pakistan. So I was a student most of the time, obviously. But we, like my family, actually raised me like a boy. You can say they actually taught me every single thing, mm-hmm. and every single thing. Like whatever a boy can do, we can do that as well. And um, I had pretty good relationship with my family before, but in the past two to three years it got worse but i i even though like many things happen i still appreciate everything whatever they did for me because they like you know made me strong enough to survive on my own as well as long as like it was pretty hard obviously they taught me how to you know uh, they taught me how to earn anything and also like you know spend some time with somebody and also taught me how to talk to anybody if we have to yeah but most of our culture is pretty different in pakistan like mostly girls are not allowed to do some of the stuff they are not allowed to leave the house on their own if they are going to the school that's fine if they're going to the work that's fine but if they have like you know they don't ha- hang out with other guys they don't hang out with anybody other than their family and uh, the life i spent in pakistan we literally didn't go anywhere just a few places and uh, yeah and to my grandparents most of the time in our summer vacations and other than summer vacations we were home all the time Okay. It's so, not same with everybody, but that's wh- how we live. So, you know, just limited to our family, not to like, you know, too outgoing. I'm not too outgoing person at all. I literally don't go to any of the restaurants to eat food. Whatever we make is we make everything at home. So, I hear you when you speak about home a lot. 
You mentioned the word home a lot. Um, is that like when you had like the, the family union, when it was your mom, your dad, mm-hmm. brothers and sisters? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You missed that? Yeah. I do. Mm-hmm. Even though like in la- in past two months, I cried every single day for them because I don't even have their pictures on me. I didn't see them. I didn't talk to them for a while. And I was pretty happy, like, in September, my sister actually gave birth to my niece, and I didn't get, like, any chance to meet her as well. And in future, I don't think I'm going to see them again. Mm. Why do you don't think you're going to see them again? Huh? Why? Because when I left the house, they said that if you leave the house now, you won't be able to come back at all. You don't have any way back home. Hmm. So why why did you leave the house? Just because I could not like you know uh, do whatever they wanted me to do. Just being with the guy I didn't want to stay with. Mm. Yeah. So is that popular? Where you from? Do they choose the guy for you a lot? Huh? Where you from? Is that what they do? They choose the guy for the girl? Yeah, they do. Oh man. I mean, is it like a, is it like they try to set you up for money? Not like that. So it's just, um, is it like uh, connecting families, keeping like a bloodline strong? Uh Uh-huh. He's actually my cousin, though. Wait, so they want you to marry your cousin? Yeah. This is, this is deep. Is that, is that, is that a normal occurrence? Is that what happens? That's normal in Pakistan. Hmm. Oh, that's deep. So, the, um, is he like a first cousin? Like, you know, is it like your uncle's son or your auntie's son? He is son? actually my father's brother's son, so my uncle's son. And you grew like up? my close cousin. So you grew up with him? Yeah. You played, like, you all played He's together? He's two years younger than me, and, like, uh, I saw him... Last time I saw him was on, uh, like, two, almost two years ago. Mm-hmm. But before that, I saw, I didn't see him for eight years. And uh, we spent most of our childhood together. So, so, yeah, so y'all pretty much, yeah, wow. Yeah, because he was he used to stay in our house when he was younger. Yeah. So... We would go to the same uh, academy, like we have academies over there, like after school we go to the academy and then, you know, uh, study over there, do our homeworks and all the stuff like that, and also learn more stuff. Yeah, so we were used to almost study together, but he's two years younger than me, so you can say I spent almost, as a kid, I spent almost, almost 10 to 12 years with him. That's, that, that feels kind of weird there, right? Kind of, yeah. But this is how it works over there in Pakistan. So that's, But that's normal for you mentally. Hmm? That's like a normal thing over there, so it wasn't really a big deal. Yeah, it was a normal thing. Not a big deal. But not for you. you so you broke the chain. it's my own choice to choose my own partner, so. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Mm-hmm. So so you, bro- you pretty much broke the chain then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, well, we're praying for your strength while you're um, out here making a difference. That's that's a powerful move to make. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. So they won't talk to you at all? None of them? No. Not your brothers or your sisters either? No. Like, I've been out for the last two months. Nobody tried to contact me. Have you tried to reach out to them? No. Mm. Just because I don't have any number saved with me because my brother changed the email address and password and everything. So the numbers I had saved in my, my personal email, he changed the password to it. So I don't have any of them, their contact information or anything like that. So, so I don't even remember them. None of them got social media? Mm-mm. What about your, uh, your, your cousin? What do you have to say about that? Like, Was he sad that he couldn't marry you? My cousin? Mm-hmm. He's okay with it. Mm. You guys talked about it or something? No. Or it just dip. You just said I'm not. I just don't. Want, I just don't feel like talking to him. Okay. I don't talk to him at all. Do you know his information or his um social media phone number, something like that? Huh? 
Do you know his information on his social media or his phone number? No. Okay. I mm-hmm. never tried to contact him. I never tried to find him anywhere just because I was not interested. Okay. And you say your people are in Maryland, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we have to, might have to look into uh, seeing if we can find your folks. What would you say to him if you've seen him right now? Like, what, 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 what would you have to say to him? All right, we're going to start. And we have an update on our sister Cedra. Okay, so um, Cedra. Yes. Since the last time we spoke, has there any, anything new happened? Yeah, that I got an offer for another job. Really? Yeah, and also I found a room where I can stay however I want to. It's going to be like uh, they did offer me a place over there and also a job offer. They said that if I will work for them, they won't be taking any rent for me. And uh, I can, you know, save up for like um, save up money for my other job where I'm working right now. Wait, so you don't got to pay no money if you work there? Yeah, if I work for them. That's dope. Was that God? Yes. Oh, my God. It's just because I do believe in God. So... God is helping me out with every single thing. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That's a testimony. That's good. Yep. So, um, have anything else interesting happened in your life since then? I did go to the church today. I met with many people over there, and I felt really amazing. And also, I felt like I'm in a family. Yeah. I got a good family, though. Oh, you got a good family. Yeah, <laughs> you got my brother, my bigger so brother. You got the big fat brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, one I always, the one I'm telling to, like, you know, put some weight down. Put some weight down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I did that. That's amazing, Sandra. So, look, we're going to, con- no, don't look at my stomach when we're talking, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to continue to update and and stay with you during this journey. Because I see so much more that God has for you. If you only knew what is coming. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're going to stay in touch. And is there anything you want to say to the viewers? Because there's going to be people that are seeing this. Uh, so the only thing I would say is that, like, uh, even though if you don't believe in God, at least uh, believe that there is something which is, you know, um, which is managing everything and also, like, you know, uh, making your future easy if uh, any door shut down for you there will be like another door opens up before that oh that's deep that's, deep. <laughs> that's wow. what my father was used to say like you don't have to like, like you know uh, leave any hope you just have to believe in god even though if one door shut down just believe in god uh, he will have another door open for you and that's gonna be the best one for you that's that's what happened to you one door yeah. shut and and it opened up. <laughs> so how did the door open? How did it start to open? What what happened? It's just because I did meet with many amazing people hmm. who are helping me out with everything, every single thing. I didn't have any idea like how I'm gonna survive, but still, I'm in front of you. <laughs> High five, good. High five. <laughs> God is good. God is yes. good. So hey, Cedra, we appreciate your time. We thank mm-hmm. you. We want to let you know that you're very precious to us. Mm-hmm. Your family. And we love you, and we want things to be better. But you have to realize now, right? Now that things are getting better, and they are for us too, we're a part of the same mission now. Yes. We have to reach out to others. We have to help others. We have yes. to realize that because reach one, teach one. But also, it's like once we see that guy helps us, he plants the seed in us to help others. So we're going to continue this process. We're going to make the link and the family so big and houses and place and land that was given to us already because we're yeah. part of the kingdom. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, again, appreciate your interview and um, have a wonderful day, okay? Thank you. All right, Seth. Sure, sure. You throw by yellow? 
<laughs> My man, Irish, good? huh? Everything's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so can I can I see a hug or a, a, a greeting, oh, a handshake, <laughs> a handshake or something like? Okay, okay, I see you. He got the three. He got the clean three hundred. Look, he he whipping. That's my man's right there. Look, he take care of business. Ain't he a gentleman? You let her stumble in that door by herself. <laughs> I know you've been knocked down You've been lost and found You kept your feet on ground And followed your heart I know you're missing home And all you've ever known But when you feel alone Look for the spark 